Windows 8 Consumer Preview, tips and tricks on how to organize, tweak, and modify your start menu file structure to show up within your start screen. In Windows 7 and lower, you could click the start menu button in the bottom left corner, click all programs, right click in there, go new folder, type whatever folder you want, and then you could drag icons within that folder and they would stay in your start menu. In Windows 8, that's a bit tricky to do. You can do it, but you have to play with the start menu, start menu folder structure in order to show up in the start screen. In the start screen, right click a wall program, zoom out, and that's your folder structure. When you zoom out, you can see everything you installed in subcategories or subcategories hold your Windows, those program icons for that one program alone. So if you click on Atari, everything in Atari is right here and so on, just like the start menu. If you want to modify the start menu to your own taste, add icons, add subcategories, change subcategories, or delete them, click desktop, open up Explorer, go C drive, go program data, go Microsoft, go Windows, go start menu, go programs. And everything in here will is essentially what is showing up here. So everything in your start menu subfolder is in fact these these subcategories and icons. So if you want to add your own, right click, we'll go one and we're gonna call it we're gonna call this one test. Right click again and then go another one, call it my my stuff. These are just demo stuff. In test, we're gonna take these two icons and copy here. Go continue if it asks you to. Okay, now I got two icons in the folder test. Now if I go back here, all programs, zoom out. As you see, we now have a subcategory called test. Click on it, and there's my two icons. Now, if I wanted to take these two, go cut. Let's say let's say I want to move those to a different subfolder. I'll move them to my my stuff and go paste go continue, go back here, right click, go all apps, zoom out, test is still showing up but my space didn't, my stuff didn't. Windows 8 is a bit funny, sometimes you have to log out, log back in, restart for the start screen to uh, show you modifications, so I'm just going to quickly log out. Let's see if that made the start screen all program category update itself. So there we go, we got my stuff now, which has those two icons. And if you noticed, the test folder wasn't there. Let's see if we can do that with files so I'm gonna oh, keep my stuff open right open up another one let's go let's go to my document I'm gonna copy my my resume handout I'm gonna make a shortcut here Oh, you can't, you can't, you can't do that with subfiles. So apparently you can't put files within the start menu directory. So you're unable to pin files to the start screen, which kind of sucks, but... That's okay, so you can you can add your own subcategories. I got another other ones. I placed all my other random icons in there. So anytime you want to move add or delete icons within the start menu you have to do it through the Windows Explorer and you have to do it at at C drive program data 
Microsoft Windows Start Menu. And that will show up for every user that uses a computer. If you have multiple users, if you want to edit your own Start Menu and have your own subcategories that only you can see when you sign in, you have to go to C Drive, Users, your username, go Application Data, go Local, Go Microsoft, go Windows, actually let's try this, let's go C Drive, Windows, C Drive, um, sorry, let's go My Computer, let's go C Drive, let's go Users, let's go Username, let's go Application Data, let's go Roaming this time. Go Microsoft, go Windows, go Start Menu, so that is the right, go Programs, and anything on here is only you can see. As you can see, I got some random icons that are just sitting on the desktop. Anything, this is very important, I should actually really post this out. So, let's go back to the start screen, and you notice how I got my documents, my my music, my pictures, special folders, just random folder locations. Anything you pin to the start menu, if it's not in a subcategory within the start menu subdirectories, it will automatically go to the very top layer or top directory of your start start menu under your own personal application data settings. So I have my downloads pinned on my start screen here and when it pinned it, it actually created a shortcut because all tiles and all everything you see on the start screen, Visa, all programs, or just the main start screen, everything on there is actually a shortcut. So when you create a file location, let's say I just want to take, open up another one, go Windows Explorer, I want to say pin, I want to say pin games. So I go right click, I go pin to start, instantly it created a shortcut to your start menu file structure under your username go to the start screen it pinned it right there right click it unpin from start it removed it from your start menu and it removed it from the start screen should I say and it also removed it from your start menu folder directory. You can also do this to right click, let's say you right click a folder and go create a shortcut here. You top layered it again. And that does absolutely nothing to the start screen. So you have to right click you have to right click items and go pin to start for it to make the proper shortcut or it won't show up in the start start screen as a as a real shortcut. Anything you delete here, we'll delete it off the, uh, well, I'll do it. Anything, let's say I delete my, actually, I'm just going to move it. If I tem te temporarily move it out of the start menu, sub, uh, start menu, file structure, go back here, it's no longer in here. I can take it back or restore it, move it here, and it shows back up. So, a few things to remember, you got two start menu, start menu s file structures, you got your personal one that only, only you will see if you pin icons in, or modify it in your own sub, in your own user, username, application data, subfolders, if you edit your own, it will only show up for you when you sign in, if you edit the one under program data, Microsoft Windows Start Menu, everybody will see the changes. So that is how you uh, edit, modify, and tweak the Start Screen to show your modified or organized Start Screen or Start Menu, categories, programs. Just have a little fun with it. You can't break it. Two things to know. Do not... You can move them, but don't delete them. If you find the shortcut called Desktop, don't delete it. If you find the shortcut called uh, Windows Store or Store, don't delete it. If you delete the Store one, you will never be able to access the Windows Store. And if you delete the Desktop one, 
you can't get to the desktop views of the desktop tile. You can still get to the desktop from the start menu. It's just a pain in the ass, so don't do it. You can move them, and when you move icons, if it doesn't update right away and you start screen, either wait it out, because it takes a second, or, or log out, log back in. Logging out, logging back in, or restarting your machine should instantly show the changes you did to your start menu or start screen. But for the most part, it should just you should just be able to play with it. Look, change from the desktop to the Metroid start screen. Go right click, go all programs. You should see your changes. Also, don't forget, don't forget to, in order to pin stuff to the start menu, you actually have to right click the item you want to pin, and then go pin to start. Because if you just try and drag and drop like I showed you to create a shortcut, it doesn't show up. There is some sort of thing that Windows does to tag the shortcut to show up in the start menu. On that, have fun, don't break it, and if you do, I hope you had a system restore image. Restore or use the Windows Windows um, system restore. That should bring back most changes as well. Thanks for watching.